My name is Nelini. I want to tell you a story that I heard from my mother. It's called Arthur and his Jackfruit Tree. Once there was a man named Arthur. He had seven children. His wife Alice worked very hard to bring them up. Arthur was a lazy man. He always sat by the gate and wasted time. Although he was a lazy man, his wife and children were very happy. His children always played in the garden by the huge jackfruit tree. They had a big swing hanging on one of the branches. Kids played dawn to dusk by the jack tree. There were other families who also depended on this tree. There was a family of squirrels, a wise old owl, and a family of bats coming every night to camp. One day, a woodcutter came to meet Arthur. He walked towards Arthur and asked, Arthur, will you sell me this tree? What tree? asked Arthur. That huge jackfruit tree, said the woodcutter. I will give you enough money. Hmm. Arthur thought for a while and agreed to the offer of this cunning woodcutter. That evening, he got a bundle of money from the woodcutter. So Arthur went to the nearest town and brought many things for his family. The following day, when Alice found out how he got the money, she asked him, Why, Arthur, why? We eat every bit of jackfruit. It never kept us hungry. It gave us shelter. She was heartbroken and started sobbing. That night, all the birds and squirrels gathered around Arthur's house and started pleading. Arthur, Arthur, listen to our plea. Don't sell the tree. Leave it free. Leave the tree. Leave it free. Arthur didn't understand the bird's language. Stop this yelling. Stop it now. Shoo, shoo, all of you. He chased the birds and squirrels away. The very next day, the woodcutter came with more men with saws and axes to chop the tree. The children cried their hearts out. Please don't undo our swing. We love it. But the woodcutters gave no ear to the children. They chopped the tree down anyway. By the evening that day, it was a sorrowful sight for everyone. There was no more jackfruit tree. But the tree stump was there, still fresh. Its sap was hardened like it can't cry anymore. Birds and squirrels were homeless. The whole environment appeared bare and lonely. No bird calls, no squirrel songs. Arthur's seven children were very sad. That night, it started to rain heavily. There was a huge thunderstorm. The trees twirled and twisted. Arthur's house was like a boat on rough seas. On other days, during heavy rain and thunderstorms, the jack tree was like a guardian angel, always protected their small house. Suddenly, Arthur felt the absence of the beloved jackfruit tree. Within a second, everything was blown away. Yelling for help, Arthur fled with Alice and their seven children. Until the rain lightened, they had to stay under a wide-spreading mango tree. The wise old owl, who used to live in this jack tree, was sitting on the same mango tree branch. He started to hoot a song and many other birds joined in. Jack tree gave me a home to live in. Jack tree gave you protection. Our silent friends are the trees around us. Protect the trees. Our friends are in need. They gave us a home to call our own. All of a sudden, Arthur could not only hear the melody, but he could also understand what the birds were singing. It gave Arthur a wake-up call, and he realized what a huge mistake he did. Rain stopped, and they went back to their small house. Their house was partially destroyed. Many kind-hearted people came to give a helping hand. Once the things were settled, Arthur and Alice and their kids went to the jack tree stump and found many jack seedlings on the muddy surface. They started planting them immediately. Instead of one jack tree in this vicinity, now there would be many. Plant a tree for prosperity, for Mother Earth its serenity, a cool green heaven for humanity. Let's learn to love trees and take care of our environment, because we are not the only ones in it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story.